Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. It's good to see everybody. Uh, a little, uh, we got to thank a couple of new subs in there, Mr. Arturo and Ryan Hutchison. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Seifer, what is up? Solve Man X, Jay, what's up, man? Mr. Snickerdoodles, how are you, buddy? Hope you're doing good, Danny. Uh, Mike, what's up, man? Jimmy as well. How are you guys doing? Seifer's good to see you there, man. Seifer's on the road now. He's doing the legit thing, man. He's 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 doing it. So uh, congrats there to Seifer as well. Good to see you there at 3 p.m. She is celebrating two years and five months. That's crazy. Thank you there at 3 p.m. Appreciate it. Jimmy Maynard also there. 11 months uh, member there. Appreciate you, bud. Uh, as always. Wonder up there as well. Celebrating 10 months. So he's getting close to that big old year batch. So thank you there, Wonder. Appreciate you, man. Louis Truck and Darcy, what's up, man? Hope you're doing good. Uh, is this the paywall, payware version? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, mods ATS. Yeah, that's basically like still in mods. Yeah, I don't do that. So this is the official paid uh, mod there for three fifty nine from RTA. And the good thing is I don't ever have to wait on it for someone to upload it and to upward to update. <laughs> so I have the official 137 version. So yeah, Sincere, what's up, man? How are you there, Leandrew? What's up? Sniper Manip, what's up? Hey, Anthony, what's up? How are you doing, man? Hey, and thank you there. Anthony uh, donated as well last, and we gave you a big shout out there. Appreciate it, man. He donated uh, here on, uh, what, yesterday, I think. Um, a little something there in the PayPal. So thank you there, Anthony. Appreciate you, man. Uh, Kenny J, what's up? Kenny Jr.? Uh, big Jim, what's up, man? Louis Trucking, good to see you there. And miss, miss you guys there. Uh, Zombie Joe, or one of our new members there. Good to have you there, man. Uh, big Jim celebrating five. Louis celebrating eight. So thank you guys. Big Dub, what's up, man? Uh, it's good to see you guys. Matt Diaz, what's up? What's up? Dallas, the Lonely Pancake. What up? Louis Truck and get things started off. The $10 Rolling Super Reboot. And whatever was funny, I'm glad it was funny. <laughs> How are you, man? I hope you're doing good, man. Where can you get this paid mod from? It's actually in the description. RTA-mods.net. Uh, uh, it is a um, beefy truck. It is also a beefy model in the truck as well. It's not. Uh, you, you definitely need to have a decent system to run this one. Uh, it is a. Um, it's a really really nice mod. And when you see it, uh, you'll understand why. Jacoby, what's up, man? Dallas, what's up? Hope you're doing good, Peterbilt fan. What up? Well, this will be the stream for you, there, Peterbilt fan. Everett, what's up? I think I got you there, Chris. I'm good, man. Hope you're doing good. Richie, what's up? Good to see you there. That's all right, Jimmy. You got a chance, man, to make them all up. <laughs> Gamer Ethan, what's up, man? Hope you guys are doing well, man. Friday, a little, probably a little chill stream. We're going to go back to Sierra Nevada, uh, take off from Utah here. So it should be a pretty chill stream. So I'm uh, still waiting on mods and a lot of other stuff to update. Um, been enjoying the Mac, man. I don't know how you guys have been enjoying that. It's been nice. It's been super nice. Well, Kenzie Wu, uh, basically, it's a uh, i7-7700 with the uh, GeForce GTX 1080 Ti with M.2. Uh, huge power supply on this bad boy. 1060 overclock just for the stream and process. Got it at a steal. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a good card. Um, it got it for an absolute steal. Other than that, hard drives and all the other stuff, liquid cooled. That's basically, that's basically the ins and out. It's, it's a computer. It's nothing too hugely fancy. It's exactly what I need it to be, though. Uh, Matt, so we'll go back to Convoys for everybody wondering where those are. We'll go back to Convoys whenever things update. Right now, 137 for ETS is out. So a Trucker's MP is not updated for that and is also not updated for ATS. So as soon as those things, two things uh, can go ahead and get rounded back up, we will go ahead and get back on our uh, convoys for t uh, for Fridays and Saturdays. Up until now, though, we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, at least for some of these mods that are just now starting to roll out, some of these sound mods and et cetera, et cetera, we'll try to keep uh, those things going on as well. Now, tomorrow night, I'll probably do some racing tomorrow and Saturday, uh, Sunday. Um, at least that's my plan. We'll do that right here on YouTube. So if you guys liked that last week, go check it out. If you have not seen it, you're like, what the heck? I didn't know you did racing. Yes. Go back to the main YouTube channel. Um, let me go ahead and stop this. Go back to the main channel YouTube. Uh, I mean, just my channel. And then go down and you'll see the uh, NASCAR race we did at Talladega. Um, uh, what, what, last week or the week before? Uh, go check it out. And then that gives you a good idea of what you'll see tomorrow or Sunday. So, anyway, you'll never pay for a mod. Well, it's okay, man. Uh, there'll be plenty of mods out there. I guess you just won't get to experience. I, I don't look at it that way, and that's fine. It's it's no, you know, um, it's fine. 
I just don't get into the discussion of pay mods versus with anybody. It just it doesn't it doesn't add to the conversation. The guy wants to charge it. That's your choice to to not pay for it. All right, we'll shut that down. Let's go ahead and let's roll this intro. Let's get into it. All right, and just like that, we're back. It's like a shot in the face, man. Uh, you don't need a strong computer, Jacoby. Um, I mean, if you can, you know, sometimes you'll run into some lag if you're a really congested area. I mean, that's kind of obvious. If you're in a really congested area, then you'll you'll have some lag. Um, some of our convoys, you know, 50, 60 trucks, and you, you know, you for the most part, if you're in a one one location, it'll draw them all. <laughs> so, uh, you know, but it's, uh, but it's, you know, yeah, I always say budget what you can get. Uh, you know, the more that you can get, so that if you if you're right right here, I can buy it now. I'd say wait a month, put a little bit extra back, and see if you can't get a few extra good items. Uh, upgrade a graphics card, upgrade a CPU, buy those things as much and as high up as you can. And motherboard, uh, I will say, you know, the three things are the three most expensive. Um, if you're looking at computers, buy the most uh, speed and the most, um, you know, longevity you can with a motherboard. That will serve you well for upgrades in the future. Don't skimp on the motherboard and then just go get the best you can in graphics card and CPU. You will live to regret that when the new CPUs don't work with your motherboard because it's out of date or old or not compatible. Uh, and then obviously CPU and GPU are your other two big things along with cooling um, you know, the cooling and then your power supplies later on, you know, sometimes as things work, but anyway, that's the, you kind of want to start off. Those three need to be as good as you possibly can get them. And then you can work in some of the other stuff. So, um, so anyway, it's good to see everybody. Hope you are, uh, you know, in, uh, I hope you're liking this. We got a 359 here from RTA mods. This is a fantastic truck. One of my faves that they do because nobody's done a 359 except for them. And as you can see, it looks awesome. The interior is immaculate. The chrome on this thing looks great. The wheels, everything's perfect on this thing. Classic Peterbilt uh, single headlight here. It's got some new added parts. We've got some big old tall stacks on this thing. We've got 137 updates on the sounds. We've got Sierra Nevada in the mod folder uh, in the mapping. So uh, it's going to be a good ride. We're riding out of uh, Utah. Salt Lake City is where I'm based out in this profile. So we'll take out of Salt Lake and we're going to be heading down. Uh, I think we're going down to the mine and then we're going to take a load out of the mine and we're going to head on down into, I think Reno is where we're going next. So, uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll try to do that gamer, man. I was honest dude, that's why I've done so much just streaming. Um, I would love to be putting out video content, but unfortunately like it's been tough, man, with this whole, you know, deal. Cause I've got kids at the house and the wife's here home as well. And it's been, uh, I wanted to finish up a couple of videos that I did, man. And all this stuff broke loose and it's been, it's been a mess. So Matt Ness, what's up, buddy? How are you, man? James Clutter. I knew my flashers are wrong. I was just letting other trucks behind me know to caution. Don't pull behind me, you know, just, just in case. Brian, what's up? How are you, man? Leandro, good to see you there. Greg Cully, what's up, man? Hope you're doing good. Brian Sanders, good to see there. Chauncey as well. Andrew Lloyd, hello, hello, hello. Uh, trailer is from Steam Workshop. It is the uh, Dro Modding Mac. Dro has been booing out. Dude, Dro's got some awesome stuff. It's always a little bit late to the update game, but man, he's got some off, awesome reefers out there. I'm, I'm looking at doing a couple of skins for, so we'll see. Uh, what's up, Fireman Dan? Thank you there, man. Brian King, what's up? Good to see you, man. Yes, I did see all that there, Lonely. Thank you there, Sam. Appreciate it, man. Dole Green, what's up? Josh all the way from Australia. Well, it's good to have you, man. You get a cookie. You get a cookie. Hey, Olsen. Mr. Nose. <laughs> Uh, we're in a 3506C. And it's in a 10 speed. I will eat your cookie and I will regurgitate it back up in your lap because I'm driving a 10 speed today. And it's, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't ever drive 10 speeds. I, I'm still getting used to it. it. The truck doesn't go as fast as the other ones. Uh, the gearing in this truck is uh, quite a bit different. Let's 
see, we'll roll the windows down. Hey, what's up, bear? <laughs> um, I will be in the beat tomorrow. I just went and did some practice today. Yay! Anthony's like, yes! Yes! I figured after the donation there, Anthony, I would I would go ahead and I'd throw you a bone, buddy. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mike? John A. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's got a nice flatbed, too, there from Mr. Dro Modding, so it completes a nice combo. It's kind of hard to pull, like, a custom reefer with this truck. It's got that nice, uh, that nice diesel burp. You know what I mean? Hey, what's up, John A. Thunderwolf? What's up, buddy? How are you, man? My weather's pretty good, man. Uh, yes, Evan, it is. Yep. There's a... RTA makes a lot of trucks. They make a lot of Aussie trucks, though. They do the 108, 200. They do, like, the, was it the 608, 508. I can't remember. They do, they do a bunch. Yeah, I'll show the outside. <laughs> oh, and, oh well, gamer, uh, dude, you could probably actually, you can probably buy that steering wheel and install it on this. It would be a little weird though. It would be like, like some of these are like 18, 20 inch wheels, and this is a like a 14 and a half. And dude, it would be like insanely like, <laughs> it would look stupid. It would look dumb. Yeah, because it doesn't have the it doesn't have the space. Like you could go up to a 17 and it probably looked, but any more than that, it'd be like this. It'd be like driving like a school bus wheel. People would be like, yeah, yo, if you yeah, it looks dumb, bro. That that's a little much. I'd be like, yeah, well, it's it's not. So whatever. Uh, Andrew, I've got a button here for, um, I think it's dashboard zoom. I think it's what it is. Hey, Reds. Well, right now, um, make sure we're in first, third. Okay. I'll do second. Yes, sir. It is the copper mine. Yeah. Right now we've got aluminum, uh, aluminum coal. It's actually blocked up and changed. It's kind of nice actually. Yeah. I will Francisco. Dang, give me, y'all give me a freaking minute. I'll be going anyway after this. 
Uh, yes, Andrew. That's why I was so excited, man, to see some of the uh, to see the sound update, man. The sound update will you know help immensely in that realism factor. Cause I don't, dude, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind the regular trucks. Like I like a good fleet truck. Like that new Mac, man, I love it. I just it sounds. Eh. So it's kind of like, man, if they could just up those quality a little bit, man, we'd be it'd be sitting pretty, man. Horns default. For whatever reason, none of these guys have changed the horn sound. So, still the still the standard. Maybe they've just left it because it. Yeah. Oh yeah, windows work. They've uh, got animations on the uh, on the door handles, window handles, I should say. They added a new bumper to this thing, which I actually likes more like an air dam, and they got the big old tall stacks on it. It's pretty mean for a 359. I mean, it's actually not a it's not a huge truck. Like up to a 389, I mean, it's really, I won't say it's small, but it's just got a totally different stance. Oh, these trucks, man, these trucks are good even if you just leave them in the folder and don't even drive them because all their wheels and tires bleed through on all the other trucks. <laughs> so you get like a good wheel set, uh, get a good Michelin wheel set. Beefy wheels with this truck, which is kind of nice. A lot of them don't do that. There you go, just for you Jake lovers, turn it up. What's up, Mr. GRG? How are you, bud? Yeah, same thing sounds good when it's got a little bit of a load on it. Hey, what's up there, Highland? Good to see you, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and let's get on out of here. Let's get, uh... Yeah, thank you there. Appreciate that. The night is going well, man. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't know that the sedan should be going to the copper mine, but you know, whatever. Hey, thank you there, man. Brian King, $15 donation. Driving for the company again. Thank you there, Brian. Zmods, no, Kenny. This is actually default. These come with the truck. Pretty legit, right? They even uh, nice and quiet there when you uh, roll the windows up. It does have a roll call mod on there, Rebecca, although it's a frame killer. I, I don't normally drive it, uh, but it does have smoke that comes out of the stack. So, so yeah, man, it's good. Do I play other games? Yes, I do, Dallas. Uh, I play uh, iRacing. Uh, I was wanting to play SnowRunner, uh, but unfortunately, I think it was so buggy, especially on the PC side. 
Uh, didn't have the controller support and a lot of the other things I needed to make it work with my setup. Uh, so I'm kind of in the hold pattern on that one until it finally, you know, decides to update. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's kind of where I'm at on that one. So but yeah, Kales, man, it's good. Um, I've, this has always been one of my faves that they do. So I'm excited. I like the bumper they put on it, man. They put a, added a new bumper in for this one too. I like the tall stacks too. I think they did the tall stacks and the little shorty stack. They did those on the last one, I believe. I think so. Thank you, they're worse. Appreciate the subscription, man. Well, lots of lots of new stuff there, and uh, lots of new stuff, man. In one three seven, a whole whole lot. <laughs> Thank you, there, man. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, somebody somebody had said you know wait hey, thirty dollars. Um, I would I would suggest before you know the thing is um, these trucks always get updated. I think I've had this truck since one point three two. Um, so this truck has lasted through what five versions and we're coming up on coming up on five here. And so I mean uh, there's there's something to be said. If you like the free ones, then drive the free ones. Um, you know, these guys, I mean, I've always paid and given a little bit to the donations uh, to those guys that do, do uh, free work trucks. Uh, some of them do things that guys just expect a lot out of, and they never give them any money um, to continue what they're doing. Because I'm telling you, man, I've done a few skins, and modding is a craft, and it's ridiculous uh, on the on the pro side there of, of ATS, like the real pros of modding. It's crazy, so... Um, I always try to give them their, their due whenever, uh, especially the free trucks come out. Um, and there's a lot of good ones that people get. And then over time, they'll eventually, they'll eventually fizzle out. They always do, which is unfortunate, but it's just kind of, it's, it's, I don't know. It's the, it's the price you pay, uh, sometimes in the, uh, in the modding world. Um, especially if they're done free. Cause a lot of times people just can't devote the amount of time it takes to keep those things updated for nothing. Um, so you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's a little bit harder, Raj, especially in this truck, because um, I'm still getting used to floating them. I guess this guy's going to let me go. Plus, I'm still trying to figure out the 10 speed. The uh, the rear, the the transmission on that one, I, I wasn't too keen on. It doesn't really, this, this truck really doesn't go fast at all. Um, it's not one of those you can hit the highway going 85. It just doesn't. None of the gears are. None of them. The 18 speed's like a 410. Um, I mean, I think these are 350s, 355, I think. And then I think the other 13 speed's like a 380 something. So by the time you throw those in the, the list, man, I mean, by the time you get up to like 70 miles an hour, you're done. <laughs> There's nothing else to go. <laughs> And a lot of times I don't I don't I don't see I don't see in front of me well enough to be able to have that depth perception about what's going on. <laughs> well, thank you there, Dallas. Yeah, I know, man. I, it doesn't matter what you do on the smoke, whether it's the light one or the heavy one. They're all bad. <laughs> they're all just a uh, they just kill it, man. Yeah, the black truck's nice. I, this was one of uh, Clunk's uh, old skins, man. And this is always this has been in my folder for guy ever since I since he made this skin I love it it's a it's just like the ultimate it's a color change you can pick the metallics but the whites all in there it's just a it's just a classy color I like it it's in the description or I mean in the title but it's 359 Peterbilt yeah, I bet this guy's 10 bucks he waits on me oh he's gonna go ahead and go leave me out here hanging Yeah, they are, Raj. Um, I mean, that's the thing. Like, you're not going to, you know, I, I figure somebody's going to say, why don't you do 80 miles an hour? I can't. Because then I'd have some guy in the comment tomorrow going, yeah, you were going way too high on the RPMs there, uh, FTG. Like, yeah, I know. It is what it is. 
Yeah, and that's and that's pushing it. Like you can get up to about seventeen or eighteen hundred, and it it'll it'll keep you around sixty. But yeah, once you get up into that that two grand on the RPM, man, it's like you feel like it, it's like ah, just waiting for something to go. Pow. I, I I don't know. I should have put. I, I know I should have put ran, uh, uh, stuff in there random. I just you know, it's time for bed, Dominic. <laughs> Uh, Y'all kill me with that. Don't be jealous, man. Don't be jealous. <laughs> uh, so, Josh, what they do is they set you up with mega.nz, uh, which is pretty good because basically what they do is they just share the files back right back into you. So um, you just look in there, and then they'll be dropped in there. So right now we've got three, 108, 200, and uh, something else. That with a 359. You've got three in there so far. So it's nice, man. Yeah, sometimes might. Till it don't. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, and honestly, well, it's like we've talked about it before. Every time we do a payword mod, um, one of the things that. Um, one of the things that uh, the free guys that used to be the early, well, at least now they're they're now they're payware, but a lot of the payware guys used to be free, and then they got taken advantage of and got tired of, you know, people coming in and requesting certain stuff and, you know, kind of throwing their computer insults at them behind the comforter of their basement keyboard, and, you know, I think a lot of those guys got tired of it and said, well, hey, if you want my stuff, you're gonna have to pay for it, and figured out how to turn it into a lucrative, you know, business, but. You know, most of these guys, they're they're not they're not stationed in the U.S., so they don't have to. Their countries aren't in. You know, they're not following the copyright rules and everything that everybody else complains and screams about. So, you know, for now they, they get away with it, and uh, and we get to have some awesome trucks that otherwise uh, we'd never have. A flat, yeah, we can do. Um, I've got an idea for the next one. Um, that'll be, I guess, what Tuesday or so. Um, I'm hoping we'll have uh, we'll have another one in, in there. Actually, two more. Got a couple of my faves, man. Are uh, I think fixing to be updated, so it'd be good. Well, we always drive a Kenworth truck there, Wes, um, but we only do MP Live whenever it's going to be updated. So that's the only thing with that. Hopefully, we can get an update. Uh, I would love to have one this weekend, but it just wasn't in the cards. Um, so we're waiting on ETS2 and ATS to update. And all of our guys, man, all the guys in the convoy stuff, you know, they've already rolled their profiles over to 137. And I'm like, dude, I'm not, I'm not asking everybody to roll back just for, you know, one thing. So I told them, I said, let's just wait. We'll let things update to 137, get the trucks all fixed up, get them set up, get them ready to rock and roll, and then we'll have us a big old return back to NP, NP convoy. So. Because once I'm updated, I really don't want to revert back either. So, And if you guys want to check out the link there, it is in the description. What's up, Mo? Elu, good to see you guys. Hope y'all are doing good. Yeah, but the update, update system there with uh, with RTA is good, man. It's it's super easy. You just basically give them the email that your account's under, and literally they create a share folder and just drop the stuff in that you buy. Um, they've got a record of what you've bought. I will say this if anybody's looking at this and like I don't want to pay one for 30 I would suggest doing the four for 50 and I know you're like $50 But how many people just probably sank for your $50 in the Call of Duty what a couple of weeks ago? And you haven't played it in like two months because you've been playing ATS <laughs> Like you know uh, in the grand scheme of things. It's uh, you know it's a no-brainer for me because I was like four for fifty. I mean, you're talking about getting the trucks at super cheap price then, and then you get them for ATS and ETS, and you get to pick out whichever four you want. Um, so that's what I chose to do, and that's always what I tell me: get get you four trucks. Get the Western Star 4800 is killer. If you like a Western Star, uh, the 108 200s are awesome. They're fixing to do uh, what's the other one? Kales they're doing. They're doing the threes. The 79 is fixing to supposedly release that. They got a free one coming out. So you'll see that one here on the channel. That way you guys can go check that one out. So, um, yeah, VNL, they've got a lot of stuff, man. Yeah, tw and you can't beat, that'd beat this truck for $12.50. You're not going to get a payware truck this quality for $12.50. So, 
you just got to know how to you know, go in there with an open mind and buy some of that stuff. Um, you know, buy it at a good price for one, but, you know, kind of know how to get the most for your buck. Because there are some other ones, like the John Ruta stuff, it's 30 and 25 a truck. There is no deal for all three. So, you know, in, in like the grand scheme of things, it's not a bad deal. And sounds come with it. Now the other engines aren't much to write about. The engine's only about a 475 horse, so it's not a um, it's not going to be a heavy hauler puller. Um, the transmissions are set up pretty nice. I mean, they're set up in a realistic way. Um, everything else, though, man, it's uh, it's great. Oh, here we go. Got a tunnel coming up. You know what that means? I agree, Chris. I agree, and I'm glad most. I'm glad some of you guys do, man. They are Raj, uh, and you know, it is what it is. My favorite saying. I need. I need to get a shirt that says it is what it is. Like sometimes they're free guys, just are they're trying to learn, and they just don't know how to optimize. And, and even if you, you know, they could, it wouldn't necessarily work out right, or you know, whatever. I mean, it's just. I don't know. It's. I try to I try to go easy on some of those guys, and some of them are just converting stuff that was done ages ago, that just for right now isn't isn't like the thing. Jerry, what's up, buddy? I agree, man. DeAndre, DeAndre, what's up, man? Uh, no, yeah, John A, you can do anything, man. You can do simple automatic. Uh, you can do uh, most of any kind of speeds, depending on what they are. Which most people eventually jump to a manual. But yeah, man, you can you can drive it how you want to. It's all good. Oh, we just about took out the Prius. Yeah, Freightliners. Uh, I don't know if the FLDs. I don't know. I know John Root has got an FLD, so that's the next one I got up. I got to swipe that one up. Forgot about that one. Uh, for you partner when you guys do, uh, I think you mean, do we partner with other guys to do convoy live streams? Um, I mean, I, I don't usually ever refuse anybody to drive with us. It just usually makes us upset when a bunch of guys just show up and stick their stuff in the middle of the convoy and, and don't even like ask. So if, if you want to do that, just hit me up in discord. Uh, or if you just want to ride along, just you yourself, uh, more than welcome to do that. Thing's pretty heavy, man. You know, a forty-five thousand pound coal. That's a. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, the FL. Yeah, it's the FLD from John Ruda. I need to I need to grab that one. Um, you don't see a, too many FLDs around anymore, but he's got the classic XL, which we need to we need to pull that one back out. How do I make my vids? Uh, what are we hauling? What's it look like? I agree there, Paul. I agree, man. And it sounds better when, let me get to the front of the truck. I kind of hate, like, I'm just gonna be honest with you. This is, this is a, a pick on SCS moment. Like, I feel like if you're behind the truck, you should really hear the exhaust come through the pipes. Like, that should be a sound that you really hear. But you don't <laughs> until you get around to like to the to the first one, you know. See now you hear it. And then it goes away. Then it's like, oh <laughs> Hey, it's Friday, Big Jim. It's alright, man. Oh good lord. I wasn't ready for that. I 
I feel like I need to yell. Mr. J Sharp, this comes with the uh, comes with the truck. myself there <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh it was my uh oh no <laughs> yeah you should hear it from the hind but uh, yeah anyway yeah way to go ace no i think it was my uh, i think it was my dashboard uh are the dash lights a mod um no that's all it's all truck man no, it was it wasn't. It wasn't Polly. Polly what? <laughs> what you mean uh, uh Polly overload. <laughs> yeah, well the in well yeah, I was about to say the N14's got a mod out there. I think Robin did it. I think he did it. Um <laughs> Oh, that may have been what it was, too. It could have been a collection of all these in the computer just said, Ugh! Yeah, that happens from time to time. I'll go ahead and reset that. There we go. There you go, I've got that. Um, ever add smoke? Yeah, probably not. It depends. If they can if they can get it, let's see what my auto saves are. Let's see how far back this puts us. Um I mean, some of the mods have smoke in them, but man, they are... Oh, now it's raining. What's up, Declan? Oh yeah, no, it's it's not frozen. The dash is good. Uh, you've tried you've tried finding them. Well, they're in the description. I heard they were hiding there all night long. <laughs> Ew, I had to. <laughs> we are headed to Reno, there, Lorenzo. Oh, it, it's here. I was just looking around, and I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to sap it out for, uh, I should rev him out a little more. Yeah, I, I'll do my best. Yeah, because I, I can freeze it if I'm going to be turning my head around a lot. Some people get a little, uh, a little stream sick whenever I do that, so I try to keep it down. Well, good to have you there, DJ. Uh, well, next live stream is tomorrow and Sunday. We should be racing on iRacing tomorrow. Tomorrow and Sunday. What we should be doing. Yeah, they did Kales. I, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really... I'm always happy, whoops, whenever they do, uh, whenever they do these updates, man. And they keep them up, which is a good thing. Uh, you know, I don't know how some of them are. I mean, I know how uh, Ki Shadow Walker is, Bart is. All those guys do a good job keeping their trucks and, and trailers and stuff updated. Um, but uh, yeah, some of them. Uh oh, wait a minute. I was about to say I didn't even see my trailer back there. <laughs> Woo! That sound right there, man, is mean. Well, uh, at the going rate, ten to fifteen dollars a state.
Uh, 10 p.m. Probably the first time I pulled in here in a long time. Yeah, it's got some good ones on there, man. They're big, big loads. Yeah, I don't see that car there. I don't worry about that car there. <laughs> it looks like broken, oh, broken glass. <laughs> so you're, what version are you in, Omar? Do you know? Because typically what you're seeing is uh, you're seeing the texture discrepancies between 135 and 7. They look like a bunch of rainbow shards. Something like that. Uh, I would, I would, Mike, I would hope they would. Uh, somebody had asked about Canada earlier, so they'll be doing some, some Canada uh, Pro Mods is coming in and doing Canada. Uh, I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be really anxious to see how that goes. Through Elko. We'll be coming up on uh, Sierra Nevada here pretty soon. What's up, Zale? How are you, man? I worked hard for that, man. It's 1.6 mil, man. I worked hard for that money. <laughs> oh, man. What's the heaviest load? Uh, it's probably the ETS load, man. It was uh, 300 and some odd thousand. Took a while. It took a while to get there. Oh, nice. Where do you, uh, is that uh, Steam Workshop there, Seifer, or was that on one of the mod sites? All right, here's some uh, Sierra Nevada we're fixing to cross in. This is the uh, modded map for Northern uh, Nevada and Northern California, and you'll see why here in a minute. It is crazy. On site, okay. Pretty. Yeah, you start hitting that sixty five mark, boy, she starts starts letting you have it, man. <laughs> How do you install mods? That's a I haven't got that one in a while. Uh, download it for the workshop, or I, so I've got a video. If you go back to my main YouTube page, I do have a video that walks through how to safely download uh, mods for mod sites. Uh, I would start with the workshop first, though, and maybe watch a few videos uh, before you go running into mod sites. There's a lot of it's not really viruses, but it's like advertisement wear. Uh, where companies are just paying random fees to get people's stuff so they can target them and add sales. Um, it, it's not illegal, unfortunately. Um, so you kind of have to know what you're dealing with before you go into it. So if that's something that interests you, watch my video, and and then um, and then you might have a little bit more of a you know you might be a, might be a little uh, a little more aware of it. So before you go in there, all right, let's we'll let them. Let them eat in here, guys. <laughs> yeah, 
You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm so disappointed, man. I'm so disappointed. I thought everyone would be like, oh my god, it's the best thing ever. Usually it's like, yeah, she could be a little better. <laughs> It, it sounds it sounds brutal with some of these trucks going through the tunnels, man. I love it. Yeah, it's like I got a ticket for loud pipes. I know, right? I'm on this old 10 speed here. Look up there, pickaxe. How are you, man? Cecil, what's up, buddy? You've been hunting for it. Well, it's free. It's on these SES forums. The Sierra Nevada mod. If you just Google that, it will take you to every place that it's available for download. Ask me one more time there, uh, Jacoby, and I'll answer you. What's the ride? It's in the, uh, ride's in the title. Ride the title, baby. 359 Peterbilt RTA Mods. There, Mr. Darius. Hope you're doing good, man. Yes, Fazella, I've heard about that, but I'm not necessarily going to talk about the Georgia shooting in, uh, you know, in the live stream. Down here from 10 first. All right, whatever. I can do that. Uh, Cindy, yeah, it'll be high. It'll be hard to hard to join me. If I hear a knock on the door, <laughs> grabbing a bat. <laughs> busy, busy being expendable. Oh, I thought you were gonna say essential. <laughs> well, Those two totally different things. Expendable and essential. Yeah, not yeah. One good, one bad. <laughs> hey, there it is. Kevin got me one more time. Uh, I'll, I'll do it when I have the time to literally do it. Uh, I like to do those videos during the day, but with quarantine and the kids being here and the wife being here, yeah, videos like that are impossible. Plus, I've got a lot of stuff going on at night now that I usually don't. Um, I've been busier at night than I ever have been, unfortunately. Um, none happy pants except you can log in a World of Trucks and use it for bragging rights. World of Trucks does allow you to log into the events. So when they do world events, like um, when they did this home truck thing, or trucker, whatever they called it, um, ETS does a lot more than ATS, but like we did Big Sur, they did these other ones, all that happens through World of Trucks. So you might as well go and get your World of Trucks uh, deal, but the, the cargo just makes you drive, what, 65 and low, I think? 65 and below? No, oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah, tin's definitely a cruise gear. Yeah, yeah. So I, I never use that anyway. I always use freight, or I just use my own trailers. Um, by the time you download some modded trailers, you can do cargo freight on all those trailers. I, that's what I do, man. Um, to me, that's my that's most favorite. To me, I don't mess with that world of truck stuff. It, it it does it does not bother me at all. Man, what a pretty sunset! That right there, man, that was worth it for the live stream tonight. That looks good right there. Look at that. No about y'all, man, but that's picture time right there. That's that's picture material. Oh, uh, what engine? A uh, thirty, boo, thirty four oh six C Caterpillar. I think that's what we're doing. And she's about a four seventy five. That's about that's about what we're are running a ten speed tonight, which is even better. First time I've ran a ten speed, and I can't say I don't like it. I've been riding at thirteen speed forever. I don't know, man. People, uh, look at this over here, man. Look at the clouding over there. It's crazy. It's crazy good is what that is. <laughs> yes, I've been to Atlanta. I live outside of Charlotte. I've been through it, in it, visited, stayed, got some... Oh, it's done it again. Oh, my gosh. It might be Sierra Nevada. I think that's what it is. Unfortunate. Oh, it's so unfortunate. I'll do it one more time. I'll keep going. I'll just take Sierra Nevada out, which sucks.
Yeah, yeah, it might be, man. Uh, yeah, I do, uh, Harsh. I haven't run any on this, though. Um, not on this one. I don't have any in there. Oh, dadgummit. Yeah, see, I haven't been running Sierra Nevada because I was waiting for it to update. Yeah, I don't. I think that's all map, man. I've been doing this too long. All right, there, Highland. Have a good man. Yeah, and I haven't actually ridden Sierra Nevada since the new update, so um, there's no telling. Of course, it could be a, a many of these things. Who says you can't have mods in a folder? I'm not turning on the smoke because it's a frame rate killer, and then everybody will be complaining. Well, you've lost frames. It's not as smooth. It just kills it, man. It kills it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I mean, most of these are, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty hard to screw some of these up. It's it's always the, sometimes, especially in the updates, man, it's the map mods. It's resource folder. That's really probably what it is. The map itself is probably fine, but the resource folder probably isn't. So now that y'all have seen um, that one a million times, let's grab, we'll grab another, uh, we'll grab another load with that flat. Um, and um, since it reset, it's back. And then we can pull something else out somewhere else. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go? I always like going to Washington, Oregon's always pretty. Um, let's see. Okay. Yeah, because we did, uh, whatchamacallit, we did, um, let's go up here into OMAC. I like OMAC. It's always a pretty area. Seattle? Well, I guess we can, uh, maybe, well, how about we try, try pulling over? <sighs> Well, I don't know uh, what happened to it. It's not liking it. The Dallas? <laughs> we can do the Dallas, Mike. <laughs> Where's the next building drive? I have not done building drive in forever. Actually, I'm going to do one thing. Just in case. Um... I have not done a building drive in quite a while. I think, I, I think honestly, man, we just got to where the point where we built everything out as much as we could. And the only thing that anybody ever wanted to see built was the 389. And I think I just had enough of the 389. Um, you can track them through Steam. You just have to turn them on, Jacoby. That's in your settings. And it's pretty easy. You know? It keeps you from having to download the other secondary stuff. So... It, you know, Vince, is it, you know, it, it's, it's a median. The outside doesn't look bad, but it definitely has its issues. It's definitely not, not what you'd consider one of your, uh, you know, your top, top rate mods, you know, I know, man, I got tired of clicking the lights, man. And it always bugged me that we'd, uh, I'll, I'll try this other trailer too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull something else. I'm gonna pull the Renegade. I've got it set up a little bit different too. Just in case it might be the Mac. I doubt it though. Eh, I mean it could be. I mean honestly, we've been driving up a... yeah, alright. So I guess that's gonna be it for me because it's not gonna load this profile up now. Probably because I took uh my save is actually in Sierra Nevada, so actually, you know what? Let's do one more thing. I'll I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Uh, well, yeah, he's updated it, Clayton. Yeah, he's updated it. No, I know what it is. I, I need to put it back in because my truck's in Sierra Nevada and it's saying, um... Uh, let's do... What is it? Resource... Well, I'm not going anywhere yet. Thank you there, Capital E. Thank you there for the sub, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, that, that auto saves actually in Sierra Nevada. So we'll see. It should load up this time. If this one, I'll just have to revert some auto saves. Uh, 
It happens. I don't I don't ever get worried fretted out about this kind of stuff. Especially when dealing with so many mods, you never know what's going to happen, what's going to pop in. Especially take something out and it just destroys. I, Sir Kale knows, he knows a few things about that. <laughs> oh, yes he does. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just abandon that load for right now. Um, and I'm going to go to just a different area of the map. Just to, just to, just to negate that. <laughs> Yeah, not today. Well, you can tell me now there, Kales, if you want to. <laughs> tell me now. Because <laughs> if I don't make that mistake again, I won't. Let's go ahead and let's do that. Yep, and we'll pull the Renegade. Uh, Connor, uh, yeah, honestly, dude, it, it, there's really not too much to do, um, you know, in the forms of, uh, PMing you about that. If you are interested in it, if you're interested in that one, all you need to do, man, is just check out, um, yeah, I guess this will work. Um, if you want to, you can just check out, um, my link down there. Um, if you got questions, feel free to ask me a question and I'll, I'll answer or hop into the discord. Honestly, it's the easiest thing sometimes. All right, there we go. Um, no, not yet. You can see them on a the map where they're at, but you cannot see them in place. So if you pass one of your drivers, you won't be able to see them, which is a little bit frustrating. I, I will say like that, that would be really cool to, to be able to see them. Um, what would take, we got a farmers, uh, we got farmers in a house. Like some of these are like way too, I'm not going to, we did the big heat exchanger. Like, oh, this is a really cool one. Oh, there you go. That'll take us right through uh, Seattle. Somebody wanted to go down that way. So let's, uh, Let's see what we got here. Well, we could go that way. There we go. How about we make us one last, uh, make us a trip there. It's a little dolly wagon on. Hey, what's up, Alan? Good to see you, man. We did the we did the big red one on that last one. I've been playing snow runner all day. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a gravity fed uh, gravity fed wagon. A loaded up on the top, and gravity unloads it. I think from the bottom. It doesn't have basically. I don't think it has like a hydraulic jack to, you know, a hydraulic cylinder to jack the wagon up whoa uh, 
to look like a mirror. Download a download a mod that has that. Most people um, and most uh, guys will do Chrome that looks like this. It's got a bit of a texture to it because really any kind of like you know Chrome like that usually is not uh, is not realistic. So if you want a mirror, you have to download someone that's made that into the mod itself. What's up, Doug? How are you, man? Gotta watch these trailers, man. These low boys, they all drag. Every single one of them drag on some of these farm ones. Which is unfortunate because you have to <laughs> you have to use the dev console to get around them. <laughs> hey, what's up, John? Uh, yeah, man, we're using a uh, it's a thirty four hundred six C. It's the engine that comes with the with the uh, with the truck as well. So, for those out there wondering, you know, hey, is it? Diesel Smoke, what's up? Uh, 475, Jonathan. I think it's what this one is. <clears throat> he's got a, he's got a, uh, they've got a whole bunch of them that's like from 325 to like 475, a bunch of different styles. Yeah, this would get stuck all the time in SES. Yeah, there'll, there'll be some like random button or there'll be something in there and, and yeah, it, it'll get hung every single time. Let's see, where is this sucker? Minion, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, McTiggles. Yeah, so whenever you uh, whenever you do it, he'll uh, let everybody know via his Facebook page or email when the updates are up. You just download from the same link, so he doesn't actually send you new links. They're always on the old link. So just keep up with that email or Facebook message, whatever he gave you, and just use that. I've done it a few times. <laughs> done it a few times. Oh, look at there. Nice. Oh, he's got these are these are like uh Oh, there's another trailer on top of it. Oh a uh, freight market job popped in. Let's see if it'll let me out of here. You know what? Just in case, I'm gonna dev console over oh shoot, I forgot. Dang it. Hang on, let me see if I can fix that. There we go. Yeah, you gotta be careful not to get your hotkey stuck. <laughs> Whoops. What's up there, Emmanuel? There we go. Nice. That's nice. Look at there. It's got a little wheel extenders for this thing. Come out of the wagon. So this is a Pinga one. This is a free one, by the way. We did this in our last live stream, but I didn't get a chance to look through all the loads. So um, that's actually kind of nice there. 
He's got the little wheel, uh, little wheel dollies that pop right out of the side of the trailer. That's all right, man. That's that's pretty legit right there. I don't know if they carry those on these trailers, but it looks good. Terpical. What's up, Terpical? How are you, man? What is that? That is a gravity-fed, uh, or I guess I should say gravity. I don't know how you say gravity empty, but it's a gravity wagon. So it uh, fill it up from the top, and it like unloads like a train car, and gravity feeds it down to the bottom. It's a very simple concept, really. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, we're going to go out the back way. Let's do that. Let's go to the road less traveled. That's what they always taught you, right? What's up there, Helmax? How are you, man? Gravity flow. There you go. Thanks, sir. Gravity flow. Uh, the truck's not private. Oh, there's the da there's the trailer damage. <laughs> Every time you bottom out a little bit. A little bit of trailer damage there for you there, bud. So we're going to ride on both ridges instead of let the middle ridge get us. So the link's in the description if you are interested in this truck. It is a payware, but I like I said earlier, like in stream, if you're looking at buying one of these try to buy the one uh, that's like four trucks it's like their vip one you get like four trucks for fifty dollars it's like 1250 they've got about six trucks to choose from western star uh, which is a killer truck 108 the 200 609 the four something i can't remember uh, and then the 359 they're fixing a release of 379 they've got a vnl in the works and an lt no that was another mod they got a lot of stuff and one of those is gonna be free yeah, it's fifty, but it's twelve fifty a truck. That's what it works out to, Tim. And that's what I did, and I've had these trucks since one point three two, and here we are in one point three seven, still getting updates, still driving them. I mean, there's not many mods that's been kept up since one three two, and not and everybody that's downloaded a mod knows that's the truth. Try to ease on out of here. I wish I'd have changed the wheels on that trailer. They've got these custom American racing wheels that just don't match. <laughs> well, I, I'm on the default map now. We were in Sierra Nevada, but I've since moved back to OMAC. So we are uh, we are headed back south. Got us a little trip in front of us. But it should be a pretty one. Rashid Ali, what's up? Well, see, that's funny, man. Belly Hopper, well, I mean, I guess... Yeah, that would be the, uh, the, the official for the like train car, if that's what you're talking about. Or like a um, like the Wilson, uh, the pace setter. I mean, I would consider that to be like I, I see. We're in North Carolina. We call those belly dumps. So you know, it's funny. Depending on the location you're in, uh, you know, you get a different uh, call it different things. Hi there, pick up, good man. Uh, you can go. You can get it on the last video. I've got a link for it there. Right, right as soon as the uh, live stream starts. I put it there in our uh, introduction. I give it to everybody. I need to add it into the comment. I just hadn't done it yet. Hey, what's going on there, Mr. Sneeder? How are you there, pal? Hope you're doing good, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, Cena was like, yeah, I'll pop in for old 359. <laughs> you do the same there, pickaxe. <laughs> oh, we just about took that car out. I wasn't even paying attention. Have I done a, well, no. Uh, yeah, 1955 281. I think I know the 281 you're talking about. The little needle nose 281 from Blueprint? Or was that the 521? Which one of you got kills? The 281, I can't remember if that's theirs or if it's the 521 is theirs. Ah. <laughs> oh, I hear you, man. Uh, no, Jonathan. Uh, these are all default inside the truck. 
I mean, all their trucks have honestly sounded pretty good, but they usually use Creech's uh, sound pack. He usually gets Creech to do sounds for him, and he'll convert and add support for his trucks. Uh, and that's typically what he does. Or uh, at least John Root and RTA will do the same for theirs. And they have a little compatibility pack going on with theirs. No one likes anymore, Andrew. I don't know why. I guess they feel like, well, I'm, it's, it's free, but I'm still not giving him a like. <laughs> I just want the mod link and then I'll bounce out. Heck, I don't know, man. That's the same as saying people won't wash their hands. People pick their nose. I, I don't get it, man. I don't know why they don't like it. It helps and it's free. Yeah, I don't really like free. <laughs> yeah, and it's a 10 speed, man. We're actually having to shift some gears tonight, man. Might be shifting more than that to get up this hill. This is a big old hill. I always forget about this hill. Whoops, too much, too much. No muy bueno. We need a, like a six high. That's what we need. We need a six high. <laughs> Yeah, we got some American racing wheels on this. <laughs> we got a two-piece black wheel on the back. It's all good. I'm sure that's sanctioned by Peterbilt. Oh, doesn't like, doesn't like eighth. Keeper in seventh. Oh, yeah, we were actually thinking about that, uh, Steer. Uh, we got a couple of guys in here. One guy, he's, he does he does like a lot of crazy stuff, man. Timbo, he's... Uh, the, he, him and Deuce Man were actually looking at, uh, at maybe, maybe trying to set up a twin stick. It would be cool, man. I was actually watching a 359 twin stick video the other day. Popped up in my feed. I was like, I believe I'll partake in that viewership. I'll give this guy a view. Yeah, that's kind of like the sad thing. Someone said what nobody likes. Like, I know people that have said, I won't watch a video because it's somebody's video, or I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna partake in in like helping them make money on YouTube because I'm not gonna watch their video. So it is not surprising that somebody says well I'm not gonna like it it's not surprising at all uh, John's Freightliner classic uh, we could do I don't know we could do another one we could probably do that one here beginning this coming week because he's about due for some streams So I use, uh, down there at the bottom, I use Sim Dash, uh, or the Sim Hub, sorry, Sim Hub Dash Studio. It's a program really for everything racing and driving. They got ETSU, I mean ETS2 dashboards. Uh, look at that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Still one of the best DLCs SES has done. Hands down. I can't do a convoy because it's not updated. It would have to be updated for us to do a convoy. We would be doing those tonight and tomorrow had they had the mod updated, but they're not. So, All the uh, the type R, yeah, we could do the type R. I've also got, uh, of course, I'm waiting for it to be updated. Uh, but the Superliner, um, these boys right here, RTA has the Superliner, uh, which is bad to the absolute bone, man. They did a really good job with that. So that's two classic ones plus the 379 rolling out here fairly soon, hopefully. So RTA is actually getting some uh, American muscle trucks in there, which is nice. I didn't even roll the window down. We're still, we're still, the wind is rolled up.
Alright, I'm not sure who someone would want to see me float them all the way down to once. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah, sure, Lee. There's a whole slew of guys. Well, there was a whole slew of guys in there. Oh, here, hang on a second. Let me, uh, let me grab this real quick. Let me grab this real quick. Uh... Oh, yeah, it could be there. It could be Kales. Could be. Thank you there, Dweller. So yeah, Clayton, so here's the thing on the button box. Uh, SES requires there to be an up and a down. These are single switches. So if I were to, now this one doesn't have uh, drop axles and the trailer doesn't have any lift axles, but if I were switch it, one way brings them down, one way brings them up. On the windows, it's not a two way. So you'd have to have a two way switch to be able to do that. But you could at least do them and set them up through a program like Joy to Key. Uh, would actually work. So thank you there, John. I ever appreciate it. Um, you could do that. Oh, thank you there. Appreciate that. Well, yeah, everybody's in an old school mood right now. It's kind of funny. I guess everybody's. Uh, I guess they've gotten uh, they've gotten their fix on fleet vehicles and kind of newer stuff. We've had a lot of that stuff rolled out here over the past little bit. I think people have uh, been some really good old school mods have come out. <laughs> yeah, that would never get off. <laughs> Look at that guy just pull that right in front. Used to be you could do that and the SES traffic would speed up. But this traffic doesn't do that. Why are you going 30 up a hill? Come on, see now it speeds up. Um, how's it how long does it take for the email? Um it depends on when they are out of business. They might be they might be in bed right now. I think they're overseas. Pretty sure they are. So I would, I would look for something in the morning. You'll get your initial download links. Um, just make sure you create your, an account on Mega.nz and then you'll send them that email and that's where your updates will go. Um, and then you'll never have to ask for them. So when they're updated, you'll uh, if you set up notifications for Mega.nz, you'll know when they drop them in your folder, which is even better. I'm not a big fan of the Phantom. You know why? Because it doesn't update uh, but once every blue moon. Um, it had updated up to like 132 and then it didn't get touched again until like 1367. Um, so yeah, I haven't done that in a while. I used to do the Outlaw Phantom. He used to have the Phantom fenders and stuff like that on the three on 389, which was pretty was pretty jamming. I love this drive, man. This whole OMAC all the way around Washington on that whole north side, man. It's a really, really, really pretty ride. If you guys haven't done it, or if you don't have Washington, awesome trip. Can let it roll in a few places. <laughs> Give him a bump draft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, Shane. A 96, yeah. Yeah, Cedar, they're good, man. I, I may have missed a couple in there. Keep right. uh, but yeah, man, I, I like them, man. They're good. Uh, they're good. They've got a huge amount of travel, and that load sale is pretty bombing, too. If I was to be honest. Oh, come on now. There it goes. Oop, we gave him a bump. <laughs> Sorry, me. Off of there. There's the window rolling down. You can even see the window cranks roll. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah. Papa Smurf Mods. Thank you there, man. Appreciate it. A low growl. What's my favorite one there, Alex? Um, you're probably looking at one of them. I like this one, and I, it's a toss up between the 108 and the 200. But the Mac Superliner, dude, if I had my top four, that would be it. Both the 108, the 200, the Mac Superliner, and this one. Yeah, the Superliner is kind of like the Type R, but only bigger and only a lot more beefy. And it has got, I mean, and I mean a lot of beef. Like, it's got a lot of beef. Well, we can do that one too, man. If everybody's in, uh, once that gets updated, we'll roll it out. Because I even think their Superliner had all the air start engines. It's pretty cool. I don't find too many of them that do a do a legit uh, air start anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like it, man, because it's got the big cab on the back of it. Well, you can get it either way. I actually like this one. I don't remember ever being able to get this one in a long frame double, uh, a long a long frame day cab, but you can. I decided to put the sleeper on the back of it, but I've never. Uh, I don't know that I remember this one being that quite that way. It's awesome, man. No, the Ultra Low, or Super Liner, I should say. The Ultra Liner is another. Someone else did an Ultra Liner, and it's a paid mod. I can't remember who did it. I want to say it was Blade, but or JDM did the did that one, I believe. The Ultra Liner, I think. Uh, what is it, Air Start? So like a, it's like a, it sounds like an air impact wrench. On the starter, that's what it sounds like. A blueprint, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, so it's a Bayware. It sounds like uh, somebody puts a puts an air wrench on the front of the starter. Just you know, it's got the whole, you know, before it fires right up. But it's not like an automatic electrical starter. It's kind of cool. Makes it sound like somebody's doing a tire change on the motor. Yeah, uh, RTA does the Superliner. And I've got a link in the description, guys. Go check them out. They've got a website where everything's out. You can see all their stuff. And this is nice, man. Just buzzing along in this thing. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you there. Hot for Jay. Is that what that is? Can't, there's so many mark throughs on your name. I can't be. All right, here we go. All you brake lovers, here you go. the what's the biggest sounding engine uh, I don't know man there's there's been quite a few over the over the years it depends on what sound mods are active you know who's updating stuff to be quite honest with you <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, ETS has got some good stuff, man. They 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 really beefs up the engines, man, on the ETS side. We we got a lot of people, man. We got a lot of people that like ETS over here, which is good, man. It's gonna have a good plethora of different games to play. Don't get too bored. Oh, it's gonna do it again, Dad Gummit. All right, well, yeah. I think I, I think yeah. I was talking with Kales. I think I know what I'm gonna have to do on that one. Uh, yeah, it sucks. All right, well that's gonna be it for me because I don't know what the heck. It's got to be something, something I'm doing there. So Kales gave me the uh, gave me the the secret mojo there. So I think I'll probably try that because I've got that on the top of a lot of other custom trucks. So uh, something you run into every now and again. So well, hopefully they get them updated. I imagine they will, Jacoby. I can't imagine them not updating those. Uh, can't imagine them up not updating those things so um so yeah i i know man it happens uh, it happens we're looking for a game looking for a game well we didn't find one so what can we do let's see um yes yeah, so, all right well um that kind of stinks i don't want to wonder and pushing it either it, sometimes with uh, especially um what i do like to do though and I would suggest this, um, not all the time does this work, but especially when you make big jumps with specially custom trucks, um, I usually create another, uh, you can use the TSSE tool, I usually create another profile um, and then run a fresh, clean profile, especially on a big update like 137, which is something I have not done yet, just because I haven't taken the time to do it. So it will probably be something that will be happening soon, just, just to clean things up and get all the trash out of the back of the profile. So... Um, um, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know that's right, man. Um, so yeah, anyway, well, that'll be it for me tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I hate, I hate we had some, some crash issues tonight, but uh, that's always, you know, it happens every now and again, especially after a new update. I haven't taken a lot of mods out. Um, so it, it probably could do me some good to clean some of that stuff out. Um, but at any rate, uh, thank you guys for coming. Uh, thank you all for coming and hanging out, especially because we got a couple of donations as well tonight. So thank you guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mr. Louie Trucking got us started off there. Highland Winter Wolf there with 5 to $10 from Louie. Brian King there with 15 there. Uh, enjoying driving again. So it's good to have you alone the, for the ride there, Brian. Appreciate you, man. Uh, and thank you there for all these guys in blue and also green. Uh, they have, uh, they, they really, uh, they really go above and beyond with the members and subscriptions here for the channel and support the live streams. So thank you guys. Appreciate that. If you out there are ever looking to do that, wait till we go live, uh, tomorrow. If you guys want to subscribe or, uh, not subscribe as in just hit the subscribe button, but actually become a member Four ninety nine. I've actually got three different tiers, but I've got a link down in the description and also a little button down there that says join. If you click that, then it's a way to support the stream and it comes out every month. It's uh, kind of like a super chat. Uh, but it's $4.99 is the minimum on that. But if that's something you're interested in, it does go a long way. Uh, and we uh, we have a really good membership basis here with the channel, which is awesome. I, I'm, I'm so thrilled that guys want to support the live stream and keep this thing going on. So uh, so thank you guys for your support. And uh, and tomorrow, uh, tomorrow and Sunday, I'm going to take a stab. We are going to be doing some iRacing right here. So if you have not checked out iRacing, you're like, what the heck? Where did this come from? Go back, uh, go back to the main page of YouTube and check out. I've got two videos there. Go grab the last one, the NIS official uh, in Talladega last uh, what two weeks ago. Last week, uh, this week is a tough one. Uh, it's going to be at Martinsville, but I might be racing the uh, the the Xfinity cars around. Uh, they're at Kansas uh, Motor Speedway this week. So, but anyway, uh, we'll see what we get into. I might have a couple other guys racing, doing some other races of them of their own, like we normally do. Kind of hop in a room with some other i racers. Uh, but anyway, go check that out. You can see how the setup's being used. It's totally different than trucking. Uh, so I think you guys will seriously probably like it. So, um, But yeah, I know the big crash, man. So yeah, it's a killer, man. I hate that crap, but it is what it is. Sometimes, you know, times I, I still get mad at that stuff, though. It is what it is. Uh, yes. No, the mods for 137 do not work in 136. Yeah, they only go one way and not that one. So, so thank you, guys. Appreciate it. I will see you all here hopefully tomorrow night. Uh, and then hopefully by the beginning of this week, we'll have us a fresh, clean, new profile up with all these trucks in them. And then I'll, uh, we'll, we'll get things going. So thank you guys. I'll see you here in the next one. We'll see you. Peace out.